All right, here we are in the most central part of Jacksonville, just close enough to the beach, close to downtown, exactly where you want to be. And if you work at one of the most prestigious hospitals in the world, that's right, Mayo Clinic, we're right here off of 295 and JT Butler. There's Mayo Clinic right over here. Let's go ahead and put it in. Mayo Clinic. And here we are, folks, literally a seven minute drive, 3.3 miles. So if you're working in the ER, you're working at the hospital, you need to be close by. Do you wanna be near St. John's Town Center with all the shopping and restaurants? Do you wanna be near the beaches, Jack's Beach, Ponte Vedra Beach? Do you wanna be near downtown? Do you wanna be closer to the airport? Do you want master plan living, resort style living? Well. If you're looking for a new home centrally located in Jacksonville, this is real estate gold right here today. We're talking about Seven Pines. Welcome to Seven Pines. Now, Seven Pines is like I said, real estate gold. It is owned by a prominent family here, this land called the Skinner family. And the two builders that are uh, present in this community are David Weekly and ICI Homes. And these builders have been negotiating with the family for years to develop this land. And we're talking about a thousand acres here and there's gonna be 1600 homes. And so they knew, the builders knew that this land was valuable because of the location. I mean, it's literally centrally located uh, to everything in Jacksonville. And so, I like these communities because they're taking a concept like Nocatee, for instance, or Rivertown, that, that is a resort style living, it's community style living that works. It's a model that works and they're, they're, they're kind of just rehashing it in this community. The only difference is it is a smaller community, it's 1600 homes, and so to offer all the amenities in that resort style living, you know, there are fees. There's HOA fees, there's CDD fees, and they can be pricing, pricey. And the real estate is also pricey. So if you're looking for something in the 600s to over a million bucks, there are a ton of options in this community. We have 40 foot lots, 50 foot lots, 60 foot lots, 70 foot lots, and a ton of floor plans, which I'm kind of going to get into today. So here we are in the most central section of Seven Pines, and around this section here are some of the larger lots, larger estates, uh, 70 foot products. And as I said, these price points can get really high in the million dollar range very easily based on the floor plan you choose, the lot that you choose, and then of course the finishes. That's why it's really important to have a real estate professional navigate you through that process, that new home buying process. Now, Seven Pines, like I said, is a thousand acres. There's gonna be 1,600 homes. A lot of these homes you'll notice as we drive around today are rear entry. It's more of an urban style living, but they're still trying to incorporate that resort style living, if you will, kind of like the other master plan communities. And that more or less means you have some green spaces like this one. Um, you have the sidewalks to make it very fa family friendly. There is a two mile jogging path. And then of course a large amenity center uh, that has all the centrally located events that really give you that connected community living, which is very rare here in Jacksonville. I mean, we are in Duval County and a lot of the master plan communities you'll find down in St. Johns County. So. Uh, we are finding even some of my folks from Nocatee are mov moving here to this community because they want this location that uh, allows for shorter drive times to downtown, the airport, 
um, the Jack's Beach area, and of course the St. John's Town Center, which has every store known to man, including Costco, because you always ask me about Costco. So there's a lot of benefits living here. Now, of course, the uh, public schools are not that bad in Duval. If you look at the ratings, I can't really comment on that. But you know, like I said, a lot of folks are opting for private school. A lot of folks are choosing the new school in Jacks known as Providence and moving to this area for various reasons. Um, but because it's only a thousand acres and we have 1600 homes, you know, they do advertise that they're gonna have green space and whatnot. But you know, if I look at the overplan of this and you look at the footage that we have here, you know, they are gonna be incorporating a lot of commercial right next to the community, which is great. But really, how much green space is there gonna be? Probably a lot for this locale here in Jacksonville, but definitely not as much as some of the other master plan communities I mentioned. And because there's not as many homes, like Nocatee is over 10,000 homes, Rivertown is over, gonna be over 4,000 homes, that means that the residents here have to share the cost with those CDD fees. So you're not gonna have the typical two to $3,000 CDD fee. You're gonna be looking more between HOA and CDD fees being more between three and 4,000 because someone has to pay for all these amenities. Also in regards to pricing, um, because of the location and being able to have, construct a brand new home, our pricing is definitely on the higher price point for this locale. I would even compare it to Nocatee these days as I look at some of these builds and the builders that I'm familiar with. And we'll go ahead and kind of go over some of those builder options and those price points as well. So a lot of you know, if you watch my videos, I usually don't start doing community overviews until I start seeing actual building of the amenity center, because it's important. It kind of gives me an indicator of the success of the project starting out. It's been a couple years. They've probably got about, I'd say four to 600 homes sold so far out of the 1600. So the project's gotten started. This is what their, their vision is here. And behind me, you can actually see the clubhouse is actually being built out and they're saying it's gonna be sooner, a lot quicker than I imagined. So um, as you can see behind here, the clubhouse, amenity center, gym, pool, they're gonna have a splash pad. Again, kind of doing a mini rendition of a master plan community with what they can with the land they have. Now, of course, they're tooting their horns about this giant lake or, or river or whatever you want to call it. It's just a big, giant retention pond, and they're saying that you are going to be able to kayak and paddleboard in there. Whether or not you're really going to do that, I don't know. I'm seeing it with my own eyes, and I don't know, maybe you will or you don't. A lot of you ask me about alligators. Yep, we got alligators, but they do remove them from these retention ponds at a certain size. But if they're tooting their horn about kayaking and everything, I imagine they'll move, remove them sooner than later. But there is that jogging trail I mentioned about all the way around here. So uh, with this community style living, you've got the food trucks uh, that gather for evenings. It said today, Wednesday night, they're having that. Um, I'm sure you're gonna see a lot more community events. It's about connection living in these communities. So uh, all these amenities and community events is what you're paying for to live uh, with that CDD fee and that HOA. Now, of course, as I stand here, I can I notice in the central part here, the park, the green space, they are going to have another epic park that they're calling it at one end. And then uh, this this whole amenity center is called Legacy. And again, I think this is really uh, this is a legacy project for the Skinner family. And that's what I love about these these projects is I think I believe the family when they sold the land to the developers and builders they really did have their hand in it as far as how they wanted things to turn out which to me I like that uh, it gives it a, a personal touch so 
Um, I, I believe that's why they called it the legacy. And some of the builders that I keep mentioning, I like David Weekly. I know some of their floor plans are after, actually named after the Skinner family's children. So even more personalized. So um, if you notice here around this area, we did drone footage, you'll see these larger homes are the ones with that lake view, if you will, and near the clubhouse. That's why they're, they're on the pricier side besides square footage re reaching well over 4,000 square feet. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these homes. All right, so the builders. Um, right now we're in a David Weekly build. So this community is comprised of David Weekly homes and ICI homes, okay? And so these are mid-tier builders that still uh, allow you to do a lot of options. Now the difference between these two, and people always ask me, what's the better builder? Focus on your needs, the location of your lot, and the floor plan that appeals to you most before you just start dodging to which builder is right because both builders have their pros and cons. If you've watched any of my videos, most of my buyers, when I do Thursday Night Lives, if you watch some of those lives, my buyers will reiterate over and over again they chose the builder that was the lot location that was best for them and that fulfilled the needs of the floor plan that they needed, okay? So the main differences between ICI and David Weekly, ICI allows for a lot of customizations that David Weekly will not do. Now, does that mean you can't do anything with David Weekly? Absolutely not. There are a ton of options that you can do to David Weekly's floor plans um, but ICI is willing to stretch it a bit more. And so thus, therefore, ICI has, uh, they're pretty well known for a lot of their floor plans. But there's pros and cons to some people, the way they like their finishes to be. Um, so it really depends on what you're looking for. Uh, David Weekly has fantastic floor plans. They really strive for their customer service. So again, it's really dependent on you and your needs. Now, currently in Seven Pines as recording this now, David Weekly has certainly a lot more opportunities for getting a deal or having better pricing. And that's because there are quite a few spec homes like the one I'm in today. Just to give you an example, this is a 50 foot rear load home, okay? Which means rear load means you, your garage is in the back uh, and off an alley and then you enter from the front and so, there are a lot of rear entry homes, but uh, this community also has uh, front loaded entries as well, where the garage is in the front. So uh, right now, because the neighborhood is not a cheaper neighborhood to live in, um, certainly you are seeing a lot of the 40 foot lots being sold because that's a more affordable entry point with the higher interest rates right now. So you're seeing those homes in the 600 range. And then of course the home I'm sitting in, even though it's on a 50 foot uh, lot and it's a rear entry, uh, keep in mind because it's rear entry, it's more cost effective. And so this home is just under 3,800 square feet. It's a five bedroom, four and a half bath with an enclosed study and a loft, and it has a tandem three car garage. This is currently available right now for just under $900,000. Now, as I say in all my videos, you're always gonna get the best deals when you're the first person into a community, and then you're gonna get the best deals towards the end of a community, okay? Right now, we're not even, I don't even think maybe to the middle, not quite, but as you saw in, in the earlier video, a lot of those great bigger lots that were available are sold already from the beginning, and so they'll be only releasing those slowly throughout the process of development because they don't want to give up all the goods right away. But for spec homes like this, you can get a really good deal. Again, just under 900 square feet, tons of room. And even though these are rear entry uh, homes, there are homes here where I'm seeing a pool uh, in the middle between the garage and the main living space. So I call it like courtyard outdoor living. And some of them also have a nice size yard on the 70 foot lot. So, all right, so now we're in an ICI build. And again, I'm showing you guys actual move-in homes. These are called quick move-in homes. They're not decked out models, but this 
is exactly how you see it. This is the Cypress floor plan by ICI. It is kind of a rendition or an improved version of the egret. I shouldn't say improved, but it's definitely modified for sure. It's a rear entry, three car garage. It's just around 30, just under 3,300 square feet. You've got the four bedrooms, three baths, and it's listed just under $1.1 million. Now, this house has so many features in it, and what makes ICI so popular is these tall ceilings. We're looking at 12 to 13 feet with the trays. Very big, spacious, open floor plan. You've got the double stack cabinets, a finished hood here. All these special little upgrades. Uh, another big thing for me is definitely that continual uh, luxury uh, vinyl plank. Tons of sliders, the transom windows making it very light and bright. The screened in lanai, they already have the garage epoxied for you. Uh, and of course this lot is 70 feet and has plenty of room to put a uh, pool back there as well. So a lot of options. And again, I always say to people at the time of recording this video, now couldn't be a better time to purchase because everybody's kind of waiting. And so the builders have these inventory or spec homes, if you will, and they're offering 4.99% uh, financing for the 30 years. So if interest rates is your excuse, there are advantages here right now in this market where you can lock into 4.99 and live in this house uh, using one of their preferred lenders. So again, check out this Cypress, see what you can get. It's right near the amenity center. It has a nice big uh, field out, the central field park that I was out front. And then of course we'll drive you down the alley so you can kind of get a feel for that alley load and get some out ideas for that outdoor living. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this overview of Seven Pines here in Jacksonville. Um, a lot of great opportunities right now. So as I always say in all my videos, it is no cost to you have representation in a new home purchase. So I advise you to have a real estate professional that has a relationship with the builders and that will help you with that whole process if you decide to build or find yourself a quick move in. It's all about the location. It's all about the finishes. It's all about the um, structural choices. All those kind of things is what uh, our services provide you with. If you're going to go to Design Center, we provide a consult as well as the Design Center consult that uh, you're going to with the builder. It takes a team to come up with the right finishes that are within your budget that are also good for resale. We also include now experimenting with making sure that you do those pre-drywall inspections, which will be done by a third party, and we will provide that service for you as well as your 10-month, uh, 12-month warranty. Again, another service that we'll provide hiring a third party inspector because we think that is so important. So my name is Greg DiTullio. I'll have more videos on tours from Seven Pines, new home videos. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and you're thinking about to move, moving to the area. My team or I would love to help you. You can contact us by sending an email, uh, sending a text, um, commenting below. You'll see those, uh, that contact information there as well as in the description and I'll see you on that next video.